everyone here we are going to learn some more thing if you see here i have the server here i can take this server okay i can take some switch here i will connect this server to the switch and i will take some machine i will take this laptop okay i can connect this laptop to the switch from this switch i can connect to the server okay so see here what we are going to do let me assign here ip i will write 192.168.1.1 this is the label in this lab we are going to configure the dscp from dscp we are going to get the ip to this computer so first of all i will assign the ip to our server okay gateway you can put anything i will put 1254 okay so later we can assign that ip to the router so how we are going to configure dscp you can go to the server I click here DSCP and here power on that one and you need to start the IP from where from here 192.168.1.1 you need to start and all other thing remain same if you want to define the gateway you can put here gateway 192.168.1.254 and click save this way we configure the DSCP server we don't have the DNS if you want you can put 8.8.8.8 and save this one okay after that what you will do just you will go here and go to the desktop click the ip config click here dscp dora process will work after that you are getting the ip here so what we can say our lab done successfully after that you can communicate example you get the ip 192.168.1.2 and what is a server ip server ip is 1.1 so you can ping ping 192.168.1.1 so if you see replies coming so our dscp server is working perfectly this way we configure the dscp server what i done just first of all assign the ip address to your machine then go to the services click the dscp power on the dscp and put whatever ip you need if you want to create for another uh, vlan maybe for vlan 10 you can create another one you can write vlan 10 example here ip we will give as a 1.10 here here also you will give 10 and you can add this one so this is the dscp server for vlan 10 if you have vlan 10 then vlan 10 will get that ip we need to do inter vlan so this one will work now it will not work because we are not doing inter vlan if you need we need to keep one server here we need uh, we need to use the layer 3 switch or we need to use the router router on a stick to do the inter vlan then we can get the ip for vlan 10 now this port is in vlan 1 this port is in vlan 1 so vlan 1 ip will get no then you will have the issue example what i will do now if you see here this all ports are in vlan 1 only i will go here i will reset again here so now see you are getting the vlan 1 ip so what i will do i will take and we will configure virtual interface then proper vlan going to get the ip we can configure the dscp server so with this command you know how we can configure the dscp